these are intake actuators off a C15 cat. And they're probably the same as other cat actuators, I don't know. But anyway, it's important to know this. That's why I got on my auto car hat, say. That makes me smarter. Maybe not. <clears throat> so, you can buy a pair of these coils for 250 bucks instead of 100 Instead of buying a pair of these for 600 Thing keeps freezing up. I got bad internet out here. So anyway, I'm going to put these two these coils in here. And these things are a little confusing. You got to make sure you get them the right way. And you say, well, how do you know? Well, see, there's a little rib. There's a little rib on top there. So anyway, you got to make sure that's facing up. And if it's not, it might be the reason that you're replacing them in the first place. But my truck has some kind of electrical problem that keeps burning them out. I haven't figured that out yet. You should have two of these little installation tools in your, I mean screws, in your box. Which you won't have until you first take them apart. And they're a real tiny torque size. I don't remember which size. But you see these little screws? Well, anyway, they don't stay in there. See the head of that? There are normally two of them. When you buy a set of these new, there's two of them in there. And you just remove those. And whoever puts them in, puts them in with 6,000 pounds of foot. So you break all your little tools trying to get them out and eventually use a pair of ice grips. <laughs> Bastards. But anyway, if you got a pair of these, you put one in each one before you take it off the motor. Otherwise, the thing falls apart into a million pieces. Very important. So anyway, oil runs all through this thing, so you want to have nice rags, you want to be on your kitchen table, have a bottle of Jack, beer, whatever, coffee, soda pop, I don't care, something. You take all this stuff, see, I'm going to place it on top of the new coil, take the old coil off. And this is where it gets fun. There's a little spring and other little parts. This whole thing comes apart like a bunch of stacked pancakes. So that's why the other one's there. So when you drop all this and you can't figure out how it goes, you can put it back together. <laughs> What I do is I take one of these little screws and I line it all up. It was lined up the first place, but I make sure it's lined up. There it is. And then put the cover plate on. You want to see the mess I had the first time I did this. That's why I'm making this video. So you don't have to mess up. You don't make that screw tight because the whole thing's got to move around a little bit. Get your long screws. Your long screws screw into the motor. So, anyway, you get them all in place. See? Don't turn it upside down or they'll all drop out. Now, some, like mine, have an extra little plate on the bottom. And sometimes that'll come up off the engine with it. You don't want to drop it down in the motor because the oil will stick it to it, especially if it's real cold. So you got to watch. The installation screw only holds this part together, which is the part you buy. That other little plate is on some motors. Others, it's built right into the oil manifold. So in this case, I have those extra little parts. I don't even know where to get any. Caterpillar, I assume. Number two. <clears throat> if you can find... A supplier for these save a lot of money because the rest of this partly ever wears out. You don't have to exchange anything when you buy the coil. So if you can find these coils, get some. A lot cheaper.
Otherwise, you got to trade these in. I got a whole extra set of these actuators just so I can trade them in on the road. But anyway. Taking a little screw out again. First time I did this, I just laid it all out and then I couldn't get nothing lined up. Had a little spring rolling around. <laughs> and all this stuff is only made to go one way. You mix it up, it will not work. And you know how I know that. Okay. This one, I must have moved something just a little bit, a little screw lined up. But when I do, whoop, that spring fell off. That hole's down there somewhere. Whoop, there it goes. But is it in the right one? Appears to be. That's what the bottom looks like, just so you know. Now they got it lined up, take the screw back out, put the top on. And don't worry about the oil, because when it's running, it gets plenty. Don't think you got to cover it with oil. It'll be there. I want to check the spring tension on this other one. This one seems like it has a little bit more. Something's wrong with that part of it. I got more of them springs because I have other pieces to this whole thing. Turn that out of the way. Well, it's right up top there. No, it's okay. It's okay. Alrighty. And when you're putting these on the engine, don't carry a bunch of stuff in your hands. You know, like be very careful. Set one off to the side where the wind won't blow it away. And put one on there and get it on. Get all these screws started. Come back in. Have another drink. Relax. Because <laughs> if you drop any of this stuff down in there, then the motor has to eat it because you'll never find it. And the motor's pretty tough. Probably will eat it. What'll happen while it's eating it? Well, that's the problem. So, anyway. And this is on a purple 379P. Even though I got the auto car hat on, but that's old world logic right there. Oldest truck manufacturer still working in the United States. You may not even heard of an auto car. That's okay, newbie. And if you're not a newbie, you know exactly what they are. A man's truck. Okay. So that's it. Now I gotta go back and put them on the motor. The motor just has three covers. And if you know what these are, you already know about all them covers and all that stuff. So, I hope it's helpful. Save you a lot of money if you can find these coils. I buy them in a place in Indianapolis, but if I tell you the name, then I'm probably advertising. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that on YouTube. So anyway. <clears throat> but I did tell you the city. 
The rest is up to you. Happy trails. That's it.